I'm Stephen Ben Denuni. You're watching Israeli News Live, a production of IsraelReturns.com. <clears throat> this afternoon, we got an article that was posted on Facebook. It was actually by the Times of Israel, and it says Kerry slams Israel's West Bank policy and warns of a third intifada. Secretary uh, Secretary Rapp settlement says IDF IDF can't stay perpetually in territories. Warns pro violence Palestinian leaders may emerge. Ju Jerusalem responds, "We won't give in to his intimidation tactics." Uh, further, John Kerry also stated the alternative to getting back to the talks is the potential of chaos. Kerry said, "I mean, does Israel want a third intifada?" He asked, Israel says, oh, we feel safe today. We have the wall. We're not in a day-to-day -day conflict, said Kerry. I've got news for you. Today's status quo will not be tomorrow's. Israel's neighbors, he warned, will begin to push in a different way. You know, it's sad. I realize that uh, Mr. Kerry, he, he thinks that by threatening Israel, that Israel will just concede to every demand and whim kind of reminds me of a rebellious child that is never disciplined. They, all they want is want, 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 want. That's the way John Kerry has gotten to be. In fact, he has spoiled the Palestinian people so much, and the Palestinians now have come to expect anything that they demand that they will get. Mr. Kerry, though, I'm surprised the United States has not impeached you. In fact, if this type of rhetoric was going on in the United States, you'd lock the person up and put them in prison. And you would say that they're inciting violence in the United States and causing chaos. It wouldn't even be considered freedom of speech. In fact, such rhetoric, not just from yourself, but also from the Palestinians themselves threatening their own third Antifada. I was here in the second Antifada. I know what it's like to go through a suicide bombing. I also realize that another Antifada will only cause more problems. And no, it's not the way that you settle anything. The best way to settle this problem here in Israel is to annex both the West Bank and Gaza. Bring everything under the Israeli control. The way it was set up, Mr. Kerry, the way it was set up by the British mandate originally. In fact, if we went even further, according to the British mandate, Part of the country of Jordan would also belong to Israel as of right now, as well as part of Egypt. So let's really look at what was rightfully ours to start with. And by the way, all this rhetoric and all these threats, even here tonight, around 12.30 p.m., we've had shots fired back towards the old city on a numerous occasions already. And even in this report, I've heard another one. On the Independence Day, the Palestinians were burning the flags, Jewish flags. And of course, just the other night, we had in the Jewish quarter, a Star of David was drawn on the ground for Jews to walk on, and reports of swastikas painted on the walls. I guess it's coming again. Because why? We don't give every whim to the Palestinians. There's something to be said for that. Why should we give all their whims? Hasn't Israel given enough? Israel has given more. When will the Palestinians learn to give? That's my question for the United States and for Mr. John Kerry. I'm Stephen Ben Danuni. You're watching Israeli News Live. Oh, Hashem.